to football heaven. It doesn't get a whole lot better than this. The conditions are utopian. The sky is blue and the players are with us for a football match so widely and keenly anticipated. Truly, this is pristine and the uh, level of expectation and excitement is reflected in the smiling faces of the crowd. They know it means so much and they also experience between them a great sense of privilege at uh, being able to attend this most special of games. It is terrific to be here in the foothills of the Alps at this most notable of modern stadia, the home of Juventus. It does seem to be a 4-3-3, Jim. Yeah, and the two wide players up front can make the system pretty much succeed or fail. They'll be quite flexible in their creative movement. They like to drift in. At times, they'll mix their game up and, and keep their width. And, of course, they're also expected to track any runs from opposition fullbacks. So they've got quite hard-working jobs, but if they can gain a one-on-one -on -one advantage, they can dictate. So it's down to business here. He's making good use of his strength there, just refusing. Big chance! Hoists it forward. Pass needed to be better than that, and he knows it. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Looking for space out wide. RZ are seeing more of the ball, but still aren't carrying much goal threat. It's gone for a throw in. of good defending and indecisive passing no progress and we're not going to make any further progress now Forward it goes. And he's there to clear it. Well, they would seem to be trying to expose the centre of that defence to, to runners. Makes for some terrific movement. It does, and they may be hit on the break because obviously it requires numbers forward to, to stretch them out. And we hit half time. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. Any strong opinions on the first half? Well, they've never really been threatened in the first half. I think it's been a magnificent team effort. The work rate has been superb. Very, very organised. 
goals at this stage, but certainly not devoid of action. It is nil-nil here at half-time. That gets things going for the second half. RZ can feel really happy with themselves. The scoreline doesn't back it up, but they've played with urgency and purpose and can't afford to lose patience in this second half. They've got to persevere. Tries to get it forward quickly. Yeah, it looks like a, a change of approach, and it may just freshen things up. Goes for it! Well, he doesn't need a second invitation, even from that range. And it's played forward. Lark positions himself well and cuts it out. it into the middle that's been drilled forward tries to get it forward quickly To report from an attacking perspective, Jim, it's a cagey old game. Yes, nil-nil and little promise of a goal due to the shot-shy nature of this contest, but I'm not giving up on it. There's plenty of energy on the pitch, not to give up hope just yet. And the shot! Oh, fine stop from the keeper. Oh, that's a sparkling save, absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra-sharp. Groningen are able now to make their substitution. It's been on the cards for uh, a few moments now. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag, and he was never going to last until the final whistle. Now towards the flank. And it's hoisted clear. Delivers across. You wonder if that's it now, but there may be one more opportunity, Peter, for a late, late steal here. He can get that clear. And the referee's pulled play back and has booked him for the original offence. Oh, that's neat. Whistle's gone, and they've got themselves a free kick. Well, you might think he got off lightly. It is just a verbal warning. Knocks it away. So nothing between them in 90 minutes, and we are in for extra time. Yeah, neither side has anything to show for some splendid effort, and they certainly aren't showing any signs of easing off, so we remain optimistic. So to clarify, extra time will follow. Ninety minutes gone, and nothing between them still. Now, chance to break. Just brushed off the ball there. Yeah, he's pulled him up for that challenge.
Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Forward it goes. And that has been cleared. How about a shot? That's surely a foul free kick. Half time, extra time. And it is starting to feel as though there is an inevitability about penalties here. To think that both teams still want to win it in the final 15 minutes. The question is, can the players go that far? Exhaustion, physical and mental. Will we find a winner? 15 minutes to find a winner, or else penalties. Bizot gets it upfield. Played out to the right. A really good feat. Timely intervention. And now the breakaway. Tries to get it forward quickly. That's offside. Yes, it is. Well, both sides might have to settle for a draw here, although there's still a chance for one last fling. Well, he's worked so hard for his side, uh, as you would expect, but you couldn't help notice that he was starting to, to labour a bit, so it's no surprise. You wonder if that's it now, but there may be one more opportunity, Peter, for a late, late steal here. He's got away. Gets up to head it! The final whistle and confirmation we are headed for penalties. RZ came so close to executing the perfect smash and grab, but it just was not to be. Yeah, maybe most were not expecting this to go the distance, Peter, but you can't complain about the graft and energy on show. I think the scoreline wasn't from the want of trying, and, and now it's lottery time. Well, the players look exhausted, but one last act. We're back in a moment for penalties. So, the first penalty. And he's found the net. How confident was that? Backed himself all the way. And the keeper's come up, Trumps. That's great concentration from the keeper and a wonderful save. This to double their advantage. Two to the good. Brannigan trailing by two now. Ah, it's a tame penalty straight at the keeper. I think the tension must have got to him because that went straight into the keeper's arms. Oh, that was a great strike. He just gave the keeper absolutely no chance. Brannigan must score here to stay in it. Saved! And there's your hero! Shoot.